What's really good is when you work with somebody in a collaboration. It's a totally syncopated freedom. Everything stems from the music. The story, the energy, the vibe, it all comes from the music first, and then I, as a dancer, I am an extension of that. The approach is to see what she does and then to surround it with what we do. It should be great. You have to take the sound into account, especially when working with musicians. You want to think about how are the dynamics of my feet going to blend well with this instrumentation. I love going into new experiences like this and just being open and trying to like get something from it. I'm actually blown away. My name is Scotty Morris, and I am the lead singer and songwriter for Big Bad Voodoo Day. My name is Melinda Sullivan, and I'm a tap dancer. When I was about five years old, my brother, who was an eight, started public school. My brother came home, obviously three years older than I, with the trumpet. He's beating on this thing, making no sense on it. So I went and grabbed my brother's horn, and I could make sounds on it, where he wasn't making any sounds on it, and it felt really natural to me. My parents and my entire family have always been very supportive and my brother, sister and I were all required to take an instrument when we were younger and I studied the piano. And then after a few years I decided that I wanted tap dance to be my instrument. I like to think of myself as a musician as well as a dancer. In 89 I graduated from music school and I had this idea in my head that I wanted to play swing music. I didn't want to play a jazz swing. I wanted to play this new kind of swing and I heard these tunes that were rolling around in my head. So I started writing these tunes and sort of getting these things together. I was kind of putting the feelers out with my friends to sort of see like who would be interested in that kind of thing. By 93, we had the original five guys in the band. We're a group and we've been together now for almost 19 years with all the same dudes. Almost 2,500 gigs that we've done together. One of the first companies I worked with that introduced tap dance to me as an instrument was the Jazz Tap Ensemble, and they had a group called the Caravan Project, which was a training group for teens. They allowed us to work one-on-one -on -one with um, jazz musicians, and they opened my mind to tap dance as an instrument and approaching the dance form as a drummer would approach it, or even as a horn player or a pianist would approach it and thinking about timing, thinking about tone and phrasing, stealing, you know, the musicality that even a horn player would use and applying that to my feet, that just totally opened my mind. Some of the highlights of my dance career so far would have to be being on So You Think You Can Dance. I was the farthest that a tap dancer was able to get on the show and I think that was really exciting for me, but also for the tap community. I've been really fortunate to work as a tap dancer in the commercial world, so on Glee and Dancing with the Stars is exciting to expose people to tap dance. A very common conception about tap dancing is that it's old fashioned and it's a dance form of the past um, and it's very dated, but I disagree. I think tap dancing is exciting, fresh, young, sexy, and I have never had an experience where I've tap danced and people haven't enjoyed it. I think it can definitely have a resurgence in today's popular culture. Music for me, usually it'll just happen to me and I'll start singing music in my head and I'll hear this song and it'll be as if I heard a song on the radio and it's all there, all the parts, everything. And then another process will happen where I'll hear somebody play something or I'll see a clip of somebody doing something and there'll be something about one chord or one sound that sparks something in me. It's funny because then I'm chasing it. I'm chasing this thing, like I'm trying to find this thing and then all of a sudden it happens. I'll either get to my phone or I'll get to a recorder or I'll sit in my studio and I'll hammer it out and I'll just, I'll just demo it out. Big Bad Voodoo Daddy is an amazing band. I actually grew up listening to their music and one of my first tap dances was actually to one of their songs, Go Daddy-O. Melinda Sullivan, the very first time I saw her, I saw her on a television show. I really liked the way she danced. She dances like a musician to me. Having a background in music is the most important foundation being a tap dancer. You are a musician with your feet. The sound and your rhythm and the musicality is just as important as the actual step that you're doing. Ah. <laughs> Leading up 
to this performance and collaboration, I definitely have some nervousness about collaborating with a band that rehearses together a lot and has a lot of history together because it takes a lot of time to get that sort of cohesiveness and that sort of groove going. It's definitely nerve-wracking to have that sort of responsibility, but when you take risks as an artist, it's scary because there's not always a road map in front of you that tells you what to do and how you're supposed to do it. And the flip side of that is that it's exciting and you're opening doors for yourself. We don't have that much time together, but I've listened to their music before and I know that if they're open to the collaboration process like I am, it could be a really fun experience. Right? right? Sure. And then... One, two, go back. writing Devil's Dance, the song we're doing, I had a visual for one of the sections of the song, two skeletons dancing next to each other, doing this like crazy like tap dance thing. And so the approach to this tune is a lot of rims, a lot of kind of tap dancing rhythms. With a dancer, basically it's gonna be tailor-made, I think. Hey guys. There she is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Melinda. First off, I met Scotty and Josh, and they're great, really cool guys. Do you listen to traditional music to get inspiration, like in drummers for your time? Yeah, I love jazz music. It's where I try to get most of my phrasing from, timing from. That's the sort of foundation for all the music we have today. Like it was fun and to sit down country. to see what the other person, you kind of just check out the other person. I can do your like classic goon, goon, ka. And do a little swing with brushes, but right. these are these are my yeah. Yeah, those are your, my that's drums. your instrument right yeah. there. And then we just listen to the track. It's got that 20s, 30s traditional yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of jazz thing. Just heard the song for the first time, and I was really excited. It has horns in it. Um, there's not going to be a drummer, so that's where I come in. So you're going to be our drummer. So if you would be the pulse for this, you setting it up up front. And you could take as long as you want. Okay. And then you let us know when we're going to come in. We'll start the head of the song. Cool. There. So you will actually open it, create the vibe, and then we sort of kind of will then follow you. I like it. And then let's book it. She knew the style right away and just immediately jumped in. We spent some time figuring out the form, you know, the trades and improvising through that and um, just figuring out the sort of groove I want to. Um, play with. Because like you said before, grooving is essential. Yeah. If everyone's not shaking their booty to this tune, right, exactly. we're doing something wrong. Yeah. Get up. Cool. Yeah. We also talked about me even playing around with different sounds on the sort of props that are going to be on the stage. I actually kind of had an idea not to wear tab shoes and wear shoes that I'd be able to dance on different type of surfaces. So I'm really inspired by sand dancing right now. Okay. So more of like this sort of like brush movement. But yeah, I'm, I'm down to dance on anything like Cool. Crates or boxes. Right or... on. She was finding the groove of the song, and it was cool because her well is pretty deep with what she's doing, like rhythm wise. The funny thing is, is that she showed me some steps. Show me the technique of the heels because that's yeah. the one thing. So that, you want to just so toe toe, and then you just drop your exactly. Okay, so it's it's dropped it. Okay, exactly. so it's toe toe heel heel toe toe heel heel. When she showed me this, I realized that just the simplest thing she could show me was already way too hard for me. <laughs> Lack of technique. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know either. Yeah. <laughs> She's a really open artist. And the collaboration as an artist, I think it fits in great because I'm always looking for something new. I loved going into new experiences like this and just being open and trying to like get something from it. I'm not sure how much that gets done. At least not in this kind of music. When all of the success hit with Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, it was interesting because at that point, we had always tried to be unique and, and, and different and try to do this thing that we had a vision on. It seemed to me that the more success in the media eye that we got, the less creative was really happening. So we just decided we just take it to the street like we did in the beginning. Just play for people that want to hear this band play. The hurdle for me it was not worrying about what anybody else thinks. It just is liberating. You get into a position where I'm gonna go for it. Oh. 
I'm really thrilled to be working with this band because they're really passionate about bringing a, like an old style of music to popular music and to audiences nowadays. That's something that I'm really passionate about as well. Here comes a break. And it's cool to meet somebody who's had that much success be so down to earth and still so passionate about their art and the music. It goes to show like no matter how big you get, it's all about the art. I'm not you. trying to reach you. I'm just trying to help you. Reach you, help you. By the time we got to the end, she felt good and safe enough to want to sing on this as well, which is something that I was hoping that we were going to get to that point. I'm not inspired right now and that's always the best thing to have before you get into the studio and start creating because at the end of the day you have to create from a place of emotion and of truth and of joy you will be totally inspired by the instruments too yeah. so so excited and again, Scotty said it really nice he was like you know go out there and just really express yourself and then we'll be there with you and that's I mean all you can ask for shake and never it. fake it that's it man <laughs> on all accounts I have no concerns for the performance. I'm just really looking forward tomorrow to watching all of us get together and create some sort of internal shine that's going to make this thing pop right out at whoever's watching. Michael, I'm in the so what do I have to be when we rehearse this, I need to see what she's going to do because at rehearsals, her and I were like, I was clapping rhythm time with her. On your preacher's lap, you can stamp your fingers, tap your toes, break your finger on a beautiful rose. Well, every dog will have his day. Well, trust me, son, you're gonna pay, and you can buy your way down to the playground. But you will see, you won't find what you're looking for. Unsatisfaction guarantees. You can try to get to heaven on the devil's cave. The heaven you find is the heaven you make I'm not trying to preach you I'm just trying to help you Make life better for you Shake and never think you. Don't you do the devil's dance I'm not trying to preach you I'm just trying to reach you Make life better for you Shake and nearly break it. Don't you do the devil's dance <laughs> Thank you. 
Won't you do the devil's dance? That was fun. That was a good connection, actually. She's a great dancer. I mean, she's an incredible dancer, and her rhythm is amazing. The textures and all her different things that she was making noise on. To see this song actually performed as a tap was, was pretty incredible. He hit all of the things that we were sort of really going for. It makes me want to collaborate with her again, for sure. This has been very inspiring for me to keep at it. It takes experiences like this that are really magical and really full of joy and more inspiring as we kept going and I kept finding new moments with them. All I have to say is that was so much fun.